with the four segmented EDS detector uh, developed by Thermo Fisher, we're able to actually get EDS information from a large solid angle around the sample. We're able to collect that information very quickly with the high brightness source. And since we're capturing such a large solid angle, we don't have to expose the sample as much as uh, traditional TEMS to get good EDS and chemical information about the structure. The other thing that we can do is we can actually look at the signal from one side versus the other, and we can see adjustments. So in the sample here, we can see the data from uh, segments three and uh, one and two, or sorry, one and three, sorry, um, has a much smaller, has a much stronger gallium signature than what we see in detectors two and four. And we can use that to uh, shade the image if that brings out the right information or uh, deal with geometry that may be from the structure to give you a more accurate quantification of the data. This allows us to do some really amazing 3D EDS uh, constructions. And so um, I think these examples are really amazing. We can see a battery, some powder, some organic nanoparticles. Uh, this is what Chris alluded to earlier. We will be loading up these images online and allowing you to see them, um, the movies live. We also have the ability to do uh, EDS maps or just maps in general. Uh, the way to think of maps is this is basically Google Earth for your TEM. So as I talked about many times, understanding your area is important. So on the left, we have a low mag stem image. We can then go through and stitch together a set of high mag images that allow you to zoom in with an offline viewer and see the areas that you care about. And we can even go and collect EDS data about those individually so you can zoom into your high magnification EDS data and move to where is important for your sample.